In this video, I'm going to show you the best defense in Madden 23. Nick Saban would say this is the best coverage of ball, and I'm going to teach you how to run it at a really high level in Madden. If you want to get my entire ebook on this formation, we're in the 46 playbook, Nickel 3 3 Cub. You can get my entire defensive ebook on this formation by becoming a Patreon member. The link to sign up for that is going to be in the description of the video for 10 bucks. You'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, and we just dropped a brand new offense in there as well. So make sure to join the Patreon if you want to uh, take your Madden game to the next level so i wanted to talk about this this is what nick saban would say is the best coverage in ball and we are going to kind of maddenize it a little bit to make it even better the best coverage in ball according to nick saban is the cover one hold uh cover one wrapped is what nick saban would call this and basically the idea here is that essentially you're going to have a natural help. You're going to have help to the inside. And so you're going to force your opponent to throw the ball outside. So, for example, if this was out of nickel 3-3 three, three cub, we could walk this guy outside. QB contain. We want to shade outside. And then, essentially, we can use whoever, but you're going to get this incredible pressure. And you see. So I want to just look at this coverage from a bird's eye view. We're going to get really deep with this today, um, just in terms of how you can actually approach this schematically in your own in your own scheme. So what makes 3-3 three, three so good, in my personal opinion, is the fact that you can send four and get pressure. Like, look at this pressure. This is send four. Um, the other thing with this is if you look at the coverage from a bird's eye view, so we're just going to zoom out here. What you have here is we're – I went ahead and shaded outside. So the cornerback should take away anything to the outside. As you see here, outside release fade doesn't work. Okay? Over here, this wheel route, which is so good, because we back that guy off, it's not going to be open. So the only thing that they really have is anything over the middle field, but that's where the what, what Nick Saban would call the rat in the hole is. And then this guy is helping guard any deep, skinny posts or anything over the top. So let's take this concept to compression and talk about a couple of key routes that make this and give this coverage problems and that's bench so again we're just going to come out um i'm going to jump back in three three but we're actually going to show it to you how to three three cup here in a second but three three for right now couple because that's cover one robber so again shade outside and then just walk this guy outside and really the way the coverage is supposed to work is this guy's supposed to be in coverage so it would rotate down and then basically you would be the rat the hole in the middle of the field now, bench is a is a play that can give this a little trouble because why? These corner routes are super glitchy against man-to-man. -man. So that's one thing that can give this trouble is out, if, if, the, if the actual route just beats man-to-man. -man. Uh, and in Madden, it's hard to, to truly take away a man-beating principle. Let's show it to you here again. Now we're going to run the – what you're hoping is the pressure gets home in time. And it takes away, and you're taking away these quick reads. Now, another strategy um, for beating this cover one rat defense is instead of to attack corner routes, what they're going to do is they're going to say, okay, well, then what we'll do is we'll run something like this little slant post concept. You shade it outside, so now I'm going to have inside leverage, and I'm going to be able to catch it right in that pocket. This is where the one rat technique is really interesting. So if we take a look at the instant replay, I just want you to take a look here. You're going to see a couple things with this. Basically, what we have is we need to buy ourselves time for the pressure, number one, for the pressure to get home, right? Because we don't want them to be able to throw this ball over in here. And if you look at the pressure, by and large, it's going to be bang, bang if they can, if they can do that. So... That leads me to my next piece, which is Mike Blitz Zero. Mike Blitz Zero is going to combine the best coverage in ball, which is one rat, but it's going to create a new, a little bit of a new nuance to the technique. So in this technique now, instead of sending four, we're going to send five, and we're still going to have one rat in the hole, right? That's going to be our user. Now, what we can do is we can occasionally drop these blitzers in coverage as we as we see fit. But like for tight, for example, we can do this, where we do this little crisscross adjustment, says our adjustment just from tight. But again, we're shading outside, and our user responsibility is to take the first crosser you see. So whoever's crossing, you see, you take them. And what you see here is the pressure comes in so fast that it's hard to be able to beat really anything uh, from this coverage. 
So again, same thing. Now I'm going to run the slant post. So now we're going to run the slant post. The way we set up the blitz is we contain, and then we're going to blitz the linebacker that's opposite of the running back. And I like to hold left trigger. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm looking for any crosser. I see a crosser, I'm going to go and take that crosser, and I'm going to make him have to throw that post route, and I know that that's going to be bang, bang as to whether or not he can get that off. And that's really it. I mean, that's cover one rat in a nutshell. Now, we can uh, kind of a, a tweak it a little bit based on situation. So let's say, for example, um, you know that they're running bench. One of the tweaks that we can make to this is we can take these – what I love about the the defense is we can take these linebackers and really kind of utilize them in pass coverage. So, for example, we can man this right backer on the running back side up onto the running back. And then what we can do with this left side linebacker to kind of create that one rat type of, type of look is we can drop this left side linebacker into coverage on that outside player and then throw an outside third and maybe even a hook curl or some type of purple. So now I know... You know, if they're running slant post, I'm not going to be as concerned about the left side of the field as I'm going to be concerned on the right. So I know here I'm going to go here and I'm kind of trying to bait them into throwing into double coverage right in that little pocket. So you can kind of scheme around this. But basically the big principle is you want to make sure that you are shading your coverage outside and then you can drop these linebackers in middle zones if you want to something like this and what you'll see is this bench play becomes not as good if you shade outside um, the other thing the other kind of piece to this is it creates a really interesting dynamic if you play kind of something like this where we're going to play cover three and we're going to do something like this now the only place they can throw the ball, if you think about it, is in the middle of the field. So you do something like this, or maybe you man this guy up, or whatever, and now their bench play is going to be you know, really struggling because you're going to have everything bracketed to the outside. So cover one rat is really more of a principle and philosophy. Really the basic assumption is we're going to send five, uh, and we're going to basically, we want to shade outside. We want to funnel the routes into the middle of the field, which is where our rat in the hole is. In this case, that's us. And so if we can take away that outside stuff, then it's going to open up our defense in the middle of the field. So this is how I run uh, one rat right now out of Mike Blitz Zero. If you want to get my entire uh, ebook on this formation, make sure that you join the Patreon. But I think this right now is one of the better defenses, especially if you're going to run man coverage this year. If you run, if you have KOs everywhere, it will actually hang pretty well against the current meta. So what, what that's worth. If you want to get the full ebook on this stuff, make sure you join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.